This spice is gonna blow your mind. Hello, travel lovers, or just Vlogmas lovers. <laughs> Welcome back to Vlogmas day number nine. Can you believe it? I can't believe we're so far in December already. It just seems insane, really, but I'm glad you're here. I'm Jessica. If you're new here, I will leave the playlist of all the Vlogmas videos in the description so you can check them all out. If you're not new here, welcome back. Great to see you. Um, today, I'm really excited because I'm going to do a comparison video. Um, yesterday, I mentioned something about a food journey, and one of those journeys is reducing sugar because I love sugar and I love finding better ways to get the flavors that I'm used to in the desserts that I love. And one of those things today is pumpkin pie. <laughs> Actually, that is the main thing. So I am going to make a traditional pumpkin pie. It's traditional, except there's a spice in there that you will not be expecting, I promise you. So you'll have to wait and see what that is. And then the first thing I'm gonna make is actually a pumpkin pie chia seed mousse. How cool does that sound? So this is something that will have to go in the fridge and set for four hours. And no, I did not make any ahead of time. So we are going to use the blender. So this is something that you're gonna blend up and then chill. The reason I like this idea is because A, it uses chia seeds, which is really good for you, and it uses maple syrup instead of actual sugar. Um, and also, this is vegan until the end if I add whipped cream. <laughs> um, so this whole thing is vegan, so I'll be actually using oat milk. Yeah, so let's blend it up. Just so you know, I'm tripling this recipe because I have a whole can of pumpkin and I don't really wanna waste all of it. Now I'm going to scoop this into my half cup and then I'm just gonna throw it straight into the blender so that it's all in one place. And then all I have to do is pop it on the base. So this is canned pumpkin in case you're unfamiliar. Uh, you can get it mostly in the like American expat stores if you can't find it and you don't live in the United States. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the milk. There's two. This is gonna make a lot. <laughs> There's three. Tell me, do you like pumpkin pie? Or are you more of an apple pie fan? Or if not, what is your favorite pie? I must know. Please tell me down below. <laughs> I love apple pie a lot, but pumpkin is just such a fun seasonal flavor, which is why. That's why I like it. Moving on, we are going to, let's see, check the recipe. I'm gonna do the chia seeds. One, two, three. Next up is going to be the maple syrup. So I'm almost out of this one, so I brought a new one. I use my trusty OXO cup. So are you listening to Christmas music all throughout the day now? Because I totally, totally am. I'm loving it. And Spotify's been great because it like suggests all these great ones. If we're talking albums, Michael Buble is one of my favorites and Pentatonix. I can leave that down below, but I've been listening to a playlist called, I think it's Christmas Pop Hits. Totally up my alley. I love pop. Backstreet Boys are my fave. I've been on a Backstreet Boys cruise, did you know that? Yep, a cruise from Barcelona back to Barcelona. <laughs> I got to meet them, it was amazing, and I made some great friends on the trip. You just never know when you're gonna meet people that change your life forever. I miss them so much. All right, we're gonna add the pumpkin pie spice. This is homemade pumpkin pie spice, by the way, and vanilla extract. And I showed you this yesterday. My favorite vanilla, because everybody has a favorite vanilla, right? Uh. <laughs> There's a fun surprise coming tomorrow. A fun unboxing that I've been waiting years for. So if you wanna guess what it is, you can comment down below. Maybe you'll get it, I don't know but you'll have to wait and see. That's it, we're gonna throw it on the blender. When it's really full, I get so nervous, it's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a big jar or two big jars. We like to reuse jars here, so this is a massive peanut butter jar <laughs> that um, we keep around. So the consistency, ready? That's a fun sound. Now we let it set for four hours in the fridge. I'm curious, at this point, would you eat this over pumpkin pie? Or 
do you have a different kind of pumpkin pie that's maybe a healthier version already? So I'm gonna put these in the fridge and I'll be right back. And now it's time to make the pumpkin pie. And I love this recipe because it's so easy. It's a one bowl recipe. And then if you have a pre-made pie dough, that is even better, because I'm not gonna show you how to make pie dough. <laughs> um, first we're gonna make the inside stuff and then I'll put the pie together. So super easy, one can of pumpkin. So this is just pumpkin, canned pumpkin. This is not canned pumpkin pie. I think that's a thing as well. Okay, and the sweetener in this is actually sweetened condensed milk. So it's not the most healthy thing in the world. But you know, it, I don't feel bad when it's just like every once in a while, it's a special occasion. It's fine, as long as it's fine for you. Everybody has their own needs when it comes to food things. Okay, I think we managed to get most of it out. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit first. Got that part. Now we're gonna add the spices and the eggs. So I've already taken out the eggs from the shells and it's three egg yolks and then a whole egg in here. Now for the actual spices, we're gonna use some cinnamon, my favorite spice in the world half teaspoon of ginger. I'm not like necessarily showing you how to make this because I am not good at that. I will leave the recipes down below. But I'm just trying to bring you along, but don't try to make it from this video. Half teaspoon of salt. Remember what Sean said, salt goes in everything. Except apparently the chia seed thing. And then a half a teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Again, freshly grated nutmeg, as I said in the eggnog video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the description. Sean and I made eggnog together. So this is freshly ground, freshly grated nutmeg. It's probably more than a half a teaspoon. <laughs> so again, I love it. This spice is gonna blow your mind. You will be so surprised that it will make your pumpkin pie amazing. I have made this, I made this pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving and it's just amazing. And Sean actually wanted more of this. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in here. So what is it? Five Spice. Yep, the Asian seasoning of Five Spice. Levels it up. I know you may not believe it, but it does. All right, I think I'm gonna start whisking that all together. Oh, that goodness. And I love this bowl because it has pouring sides. Okay, so this part is done. So now I need to put the pie crust in the pie pan. And this is the pre-made dough that we have here in the Netherlands. Uh, it translates to Aunt Fanny. <laughs> So I already let it set out at room temperature for a while. You leave the baking paper on the bottom, which is kind of weird to me, but following the directions. Okay, the crust is in the pan and I never learned from my grandmother how to crimp the sides. It was always something I was like, I'll learn it later, that's too hard. So all you do now is pour. All right, now we just kind of tap it to make sure there's no air bubbles. So once the oven's preheated, then this will go in and I'll just let it do its thing. So I will see you once the pie is done and the mousse is done. And voila, it's ready. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to dig in. Okay, should I have the pie first or the mousse first? I'm gonna cut the pie first because I think it's nice to start with the thing that we probably know the best, right? There we go. And I made some homemade whipped cream. So this is unsweetened because I feel like this is gonna be sweet enough. I meant to dollop it on the top. <laughs> All right, ready for the taste test? It'll be good. I mean, I know it'll be good. Mm. Part of pumpkin pie is that texture, that creamy, almost buttery texture that you get. That's really good, but I'm excited to try the healthier option because if there is something that kind of hits that craving that doesn't have as much sugar in it, I'm all about it. As you can see, I also put whipped cream on here and you can already tell that the consistency isn't quite as smooth, <laughs> nor did I think it would be. It's almost a little watery actually. I think it needs more spices, to be perfectly honest. It has a deeper flavor. Um, it's not as spicy as the pie, but it is spiced, but I think it could actually use way more of it. 
Honestly, I was really hoping this would hit the spot. It doesn't, but it is a nice alternative. So if you really can't have pie for whatever reason, it is a really nice alternative. And it's not like I'm not gonna eat this. Okay, well join us tomorrow for a very special to me unboxing that I can't wait to show you. And we're gonna talk kitchen stuff because I think that people get confused sometimes when they first move somewhere. It's kind of like an expat chat, but it can be if you're just starting out from scratch. Um, I know that when we moved to Amsterdam, it was very tricky to find certain things. And then we somehow ended up with some stuff that really changed everything for us. So I'm gonna go over that tomorrow. Don't miss it, so hit subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.